Hi, Octo Cadets. My name's Amy, and I'm a designer for the Octonauts. And I want to show you how to draw the Octonauts. So let's get started. What you're going to need is a lot of paper and crayons. I'm gonna draw with Octo Blue because it's my favorite color to draw. I may not be good at pushing buttons, but I'm an expert at tentacle wrestling. When we start to draw the Octonauts, what do we do? A circle shape. If you've watched the past ones, you know that. All right, so let's start. Circle, I'm getting pretty good at drawing circles, I have to say, Octo Cadets. I do so many. All right, so here's Inkling's head, and then we're gonna do the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And all the other videos talk about how all these things are created with circles. So, we'll start. One eye, two eye, nose, and a mouth. And you see, those are all circles, just strategically located to look like a face. So here we go. Once you have all that, we're going to do the white highlights in his eyes in the upper right hand corner is usually where we put them. And then you're going to color it in just like this. Okay, so so far that's Inkling's face, but that's also how you start to draw dashy, whoop, 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 whoop. It's how you draw dashy, barnacles, tweak, and quasi's face almost, pretty much. So it's the basis of all the Octonauts' faces. Okay. So here he is so far. So what does Inkling have that the other Octonauts don't have for his eyes? It's a monocle. I don't know if any of you Octocadets know what a monocle is, but it's basically like glasses, but it's one, one glass so that he can see. I guess his one eye needs a little help. So here you go. To draw a monocle, you're gonna do a circle around his eye here, just like that, nice big circle. And then a half circle coming out from his monocle piece, just like this. Boop. And that basically chain helps keep it from falling off his face and falling down. So that's what that is. Once you have that, we're going to go on to his ears. So his ears are basically like kind of like a diamond shape. So how you would draw a diamond like this, but instead of going all the way into his head, it's just like that. So try that out, Octo Cadets. Let's do the other side. One, two, three, four. And those are his ears. So cute so far. Once you have those, there's markings on his head because he's a little older, so he kind of has some spots. That's okay. So let's add those in. One, and these are all circles. Two, three. Three circles on his head. Doot, doot, doot. That's what he has. And then I'm also gonna draw in his bow tie just because I think it's so cute. So his bow tie is a little square, the bottom of his head, like that. And then a couple kind of triangle pieces coming up on either side. And there's his bow tie. So that's inkling. Yes, Tunip. Now the great thing about Tunip is he's a vegetable. He's half vegetable, half fish. So again with vegetables, I'm gonna start with a circle. I'll show you why. I'll start with a circle for his head and then draw in his eyes. So circle over here, circle over there, circle nose, muzzle, two circles, okay. And then the white highlight, and color in his eye. White highlight, color in his eye. Trust me, you're gonna be so quick at this Octo Cadets. You're gonna do it so many times. You're just gonna be faster than me. Okay. So once you have that, I'm actually gonna draw the rest of his body because it's quite simple as compared to the other Octonauts. So once you have this, you're gonna draw two lines going down on the sides like this. One, two two on an angle. So he'll look like his head's almost going into a funnel. That's how it's gonna look. And then you're gonna draw a line across to connect those. Doot. 
So now he looks like his head's in a cup, but it's not. He's becoming a vegetable. Okay? And then once you have that, you're going to draw a line down and a curve. So you're just connecting them with a little bit of a curve at the bottom. Okay? And then once you have that, you're going to draw another line up here, right underneath his muzzle. So this is becoming his body. And you can take crayon, your coloring apparatus, and just color that in. So that's the bottom of his body. Okay, and once you have that, we're gonna draw his fins. So his fins are here, and it's like an arc shape going this way, and an arc shape going that way. That's one fin, and an arc shape this way and an arc shape that way, and that's his other fin. And I like to round the edges of the fins because it looks friendlier. That, and then we will draw his feet. His feet are the same thing as the fins on the side. It's like a curve, doo -doo -doo, like that. And then another curve, doo -doo -doo, whoop, like that. Okay, we can color those in too. Why not? Basically, like four footballs sticking out of his body as far as shapes. Okay, so there's his body, and now comes the fun part where we get his stock on his head to make him look like a vegetable. So with tuna, you can kind of have fun with this. I look at it like it's a tree coming out of his head. So I kind of start with a stock like this, okay, on either side. And then I go do 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 do, and I just draw a kind of funny broccoli kind of tree thing coming out of his head like this. So with all the vegetables, you can draw their body, do the head, do the body, do the football shapes, and then when you get to the top of the head, you can do all different shapes or all the different vegetables. So this is the top of the head of I believe it is Gruber. He's got a big kind of blobby leafy thing on top with a little stalk coming out of the top. This is his head. This is him. Okay, that's him. And I think Tomino, who's the little red guy, half minnow, half tomato, he is like that. And then he has like a little tomato patch type shape coming out of his head. So it's more like this. It's more spiky. It's like a spiky shape. So you can really experiment with all the different vegetables. And you know what? You should make your own. Definitely make your own. Add them to Facebook. I'd love to see what kind of vegemole combinations you come up with. I think that would be really funny. So there he is. There's tune up and he says chipa chipa. Octonaut to your station. Okay, so it's funny actually because the octopod is kind of drawn the same as the octonauts. But I'm gonna go ahead and draw it. So once again, circle shape. Okay, that is the big center pod of the octopod. And then we're gonna draw two eyes again. But instead of eyes, they are portholes, right? So you can see through. Very cool. And then once you have that, we're gonna draw a line here, because this is the bottom of the octopod and this is the top that's clear where the octonauts stand in here. Draw a cat at the top. The top of the octopod. This is the part where uh, uh, Barnacles comes out in his steering piece. And then we're gonna draw the mouth, the octopod. And the gups, it opens up and the gups come out of there from the launch bay, right? This. Now I'm going to draw some tentacles. Okay. So with the tentacles, this coming down, right? This is the C4 here. Tentacles. Go 
something like this. And there's eight of them, right? Like that. And then there is the front door, which is here. The draw has the little Octonauts logo on it. And then there's little bubbles that come off the tentacles like this. So that's the base. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. And now, what are we missing? Something we are missing. And it is more tentacles. Okay, so I'm gonna draw that. So the other tentacles come up like this. Whoa! And how many tentacle pods? There, there are tentacles and there's pods on top of them. And there are, how many? Does anyone know? Four. Four tentacle pods, but I'm just going to show two because we'll pretend the other two are right behind them. So you draw these tentacles, like this, and then we're going to draw the pods on top, which are just more circles, right? Just like that. Put the tops on them like we did here. And then we're gonna draw these lines because the octopod tentacles have these cool little lines. I think they're just structure to help keep the tentacles together because they're holding on to so much. Everyone lives in here, plays games. You have the vegetables gardening pod, so they have to be strong to hold all that stuff. Okay, and there you have it. It's the octopod. Thank you so much for tuning in to learn about how to draw all eight of the octonauts and the octopod. Go ahead, draw some octonauts at home, tag us on Facebook, we would love to see your art. And stay safe, Octo Cadets. Bye bye! Bon Bon, monkey with a tool belt. And we're the Fix It Force! Can you help me, Chico Bon Bon? You got a problem? We can solve them. Fix It Force, time to bring the awesome. Tool Force One activated. Let's get to work. I'm gonna need a spatula that's made of something flexible. We'll make a bridge out of nothing. It's better than magic, it's science. Chico, Chico, Chico.